Hi, so in video 1604 we discussed the sand battery because it's hit the headlines as a new invention, which it's patently not. But it is a super interesting material because sand has some astounding properties actually. When you think about the heat storage, then clay, sand and concrete are all around about the same, about sort of 850 degrees centigrade. Uh, sorry, 850 joules per kilo per degree centigrade. So around about the same about ability to store heat. Water is about 4,000. So you would think the first choice would be, well, water, you can put more energy into it because water has a serious limitation. You can't take it above 100 degrees centigrade because it'll just boil away. But sand, concrete and clay, you can take up to massive temperatures. And they are doing sand batteries at 1200 degrees centigrade, which is a crazy number if you think about it. And sand will store that energy for an awful long time and release it quite slowly. So it does seem like a really good option. I mean, it does rank there with concrete, but of course concrete you have to make. And the CO2 for concrete is just crippling. It's one of the biggest contributors to greenhouse gases apart from herds of cows that there is. So sand has lots of benefits to it being cheap, being plentiful, being pretty good at high temperature and able to store an awful lot of energy that other materials and other methodologies have limitations around. Now, of course, the sand that can be used isn't restricted to what we normally use as building sand. There have been reports on the thermal efficiency of various sands, including desert sand. The one report I read was from the UAE, who <laughs> proudly claimed that theirs was the best, which is great because there's an awful lot of sand in the UAE. But sand has so many things going for it that it makes it a brilliant option for creating a sand battery. Now, the only real issue is, can you create a sand battery at home? Well, remember in video 1603, and incidentally, I shall put the link to both of these videos at the end, we made this thing and used it as a water boiler for which it was particularly good, actually. It occurred to me, well, why don't we just fill this thing? with sand and we'll have effectively a mass heating system instead of using concrete we're using sand we will have created ourselves a sand battery and we can see how it goes because the idea is of course this gets hot heats the sand we stop the fire and that heat should continue to radiate out for a great deal of time after now we need to get the sand in there so the sand that i've got there goes the water this stuff Kiln-dried sand. They could use builder's sand, but it will clog. Wet sand doesn't flow very well. This dry sand will flow nicely, and we can pour it into here and here. Now, there might be moisture still in there, so we can cap the bottom one, but we need to leave the top one with a hole in it, so if there is any steam, then that steam's got a place to escape, and it might absorb moisture, so we do want to leave a hole in the thing. So what we need to do is take these off and pour a load of sand in there. Okay, so I've got about 40 kilos of sand in there. Now, if we think that sand is 835 joules per kilo per degree centigrade, and we should be able to get this thing up to about 500 degrees centigrade, then we should store something like 16.7 megajoules, or if you like, 4.6 kilowatt hours. Now, that's kind of impressive for such a small thing, so we're going to drag it outside and light a fire. You might notice it's on the floor because I filled it on the floor because I knew there'd be about 50 kilos or so in this in total. It's probably about 60 actually. But anyway, let's get it outside and light it up. Okay, so it's 26 degrees. We're going to burn this thing for an hour, see what it gets up to and see how long it takes to cool down again. Okay, we're about halfway through. It's been burning for about half an hour, 25 minutes. This section is... Um, yeah, 450 degrees. This section is 41 degrees, and you can see nothing but a heat haze coming out of there. It's pretty fantastic. This is not a day to be doing this. It's in the middle of summer, and I'm sweating away, and I have to kind of keep an eye on it. Okay, it's had an hour's burn. I've raked all the coals out, so it's now all by itself. That's 88 here, got to 440 there, and it's 158 there. So we can calculate, if we want, 
how much thermal energy we've put into that um, 40 kilograms of sand, more or less. And I used about three or four kilos of wood to do that, and it was pine. So now all we're gonna do is wait for it to cool down to ambient and see how long that takes. So it's quarter past six, it's had three and a half hours to cool down, and it's 52 degrees. I'm going home, so it's had three and a half hours from an hour's cooking. In my mind, that's actually really incredible. So it looks like that sand battery, even this dumb one I made, is just awesome. And if you think about a Swedish stove, of course, they're nothing but a big lump of concrete. So it certainly looks like those crazy, crazy Finns know what they're doing. Anyway. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching and please do remember to like and subscribe. Tropical it is.